So we're still in the kitchen here. Have, having a look, we've got um, the blind. Now, this is uh, a bit of a challenge to claim. So we have like a couple of options. When we look at a blind, what we want to do ultimately is get the dust off it. So I turn it one way, grab my trusty little cobbler, and extend it just a little because I'm shorter. And wipe over the top. You have to be really, really careful when you move vines. It has to be all in the one direction when you're actually getting the, the dust off the vines, okay? You can do it with a copper brush or even a soft broom. When you've got the dust off, it's worked effectively, great. But what we had a look before, when we had a look at this particular one, you can see there is dirt and stuff in the corner. So we're going to have to wash this blind. And the best way to wash blinds, again, is with the filter clean. Cool. So what we've done is we've put some boiling water into our bucket, chucked a little bit of filter clean in there. See how quick and actual easy that we take that off. Now, what I want to show you is I'm going to do another area with no filter clean. So just hold that for a second. I'm just going to wait for. Now, that area there just wiped off very quickly. This area here, I'm going to have to rub some of the areas just to be able to get the stuff off. So as you can see that's not coming off quickly enough. It still comes off so it takes a little bit more time. So if you want to do something a little quicker use the filter clean. If you don't have any filter clean maybe some dishwashing liquid will be just as effective to be able to clean the blinds. So cleaning the blinds you're going to have to clean it on one side flip it over, clean it on the other side, and then dry it. Okay. This blind here will take you approximately one hour to clean it from top to bottom. If you got to a job, and when we do a vacate clean, standardly we're only going to dust the blinds. So if you get there and you realise that, oh, okay, I need to do a lot more work there, um, you need to ring the office, let us know that you need some extra time, why you need that extra time so we can talk to the client to make sure the client's happy to pay for that extra time. Okay? Right, so pulling the blind up. And uh, cleaning our window. So cleaning windows is fairly simple and easy. We've got an absolute sensational window cleaner, which again is a microfiber product. Okay, so you've got your microfiber here, got your squeegee here. So how we use it, very simple. Wet some water into the microfiber itself. Now I can clean the whole internal of one house just by wetting it one time with some dishwashing liquid on top. I don't have to carry a bucket around with me to clean windows. Some people, um, I suppose, traditional window cleaning um, equipment will carry a bucket around with you with different products in it. Okay, so with that, just some dishwashing liquid, not a huge amount, and all I'm going to do is penetrate that into the microfiber. I use the heel of my palm to get some of the excess water out because generally you don't need a huge amount. 
the way that this microfiber tool is designed is that um, once you squeegee um, the water from the box, that then the water travels back down and gets trapped back into the pad itself. That's why you don't have to uh, carry a bucket of water around with you. So what we might do is clean one of these blinds. So windows over here. So I do need dry cloths and I do need polish cloth and my the glass itself. Sometimes, um, you know, people clean quite regularly and sometimes they don't. And we come across many different types of properties. So if when you've cleaned the glass that it's really not that clean, give it a second go. It's, you know, it's not taking a huge amount of time. Externally, um, I don't know whether you can have a quick look outside there, but um, we're on a third level property. So having a look down, there's no way that you're able to actually go and clean those windows at all, any way, shape or form. So again, if you can't clean the windows any side, you need to ring the office and let us know. Okay? So this glides nice and easy across the glass. This um, is a specific way to hold the handle. Okay? And until you get trained how to use it, what I do is I grab it down the bottom of the handle and just use my thumb there to be able to guide. I want to be able to have it nice and flexible in my hand. The moment that I push it forward, I activate the squeegee. And I don't want to be activating the squeegee as I'm cleaning. Okay? I want to be able to have it nice and free to be able to move like such. Now, before I put my blade to the glass, I always wipe the blade. Always. Okay, so I pop the blade to the glass, wipe it over, and squeeze you down. Then, wipe my blade. Simple and easy process. Again, put it to the bottom, go all the way across. see there's some um, stuff which is on the window ledge so we always need to clean the window ledge anyway so nice and beneficial to wipe in and around all of the edges to get any of the stuff off and at the same time you clean the window ledges now this particular window <laughs> ledge you can see that the paint's coming off there that's not something that um, you can really do much about but again you would take a picture of that and send to the office so that way the property manager is aware that that damage is there. Cool. Awesome. So if you ever had any questions uh, in regards to window cleaning, let us know. Thank you.